Warhammer Online is an MMORPG by Mythic Entertainment that initially released in 2008, but was shut down in 2013. That's not where the story ends though, because since 2014 the game has had a very active private server known as Return of Reckoning, which even has its own dev team that create and add new content to the game with weekly maintenance, bug fixes, and all the stuff you'd expect from a live MMO. I covered this game back in March 2020 and the servers got overrun with new players. Since then the game's had quite a few updates of which you can see the trailers for on their YouTube channel and the peak player population still seems pretty decent. For those of you who have never played Warhammer Online, this is a realm vs realm PvP focused MMO with two factions, Order and Destruction. There's six different races in the game and every class is race locked with a total of 24 different classes, although half of the classes are mirrored with slight variation from the opposite factions version. Warhammer Online also has PvE dungeons, a public quest system that's still fairly unique to this day, city sieges, hidden lairs with bosses, a large open world, and most famously, it's massive realm vs realm battles that can support hundreds of players at a time. In this video we jump into Warhammer Online Return of Reckoning to see how it's getting on in 2022. But first, sponsor. SD Gundam Battle Alliance is a brand new multiplayer Gundam action RPG in which players battle in super deformed versions of mobile suits from the Gundam series. In this game you'll play through a deep single player story with casual co-op multiplayer that takes place in the G universe, a world where Gundam canon twists and turns in ways that no one can predict. Along Along the way you'll lead a three unit squadron consisting of mobile suits and pilots to decimate new enemies and correct this distorted false world in a true battle alliance. Tackle missions solo or with your friends as a three person team, unlock and experience a wide array of mobile suit weaponry, each of which have their own strengths and weaknesses, and experience famous scenes from various Gundam works. Charge through the city, still as much destruction as we can. <laughs> So let's rescue this city by fighting in giant robots and flattening every building in sight. Now let's do the job that I was sent here to do. F and V, pop the ulti, big damage. Now we can combo him. My friends are popping their ultis too. We are making short work of this boss. Mission complete. Click the link in the description below and play SD Gundam Battle Alliance now. Warhammer Online Return of Reckoning, an active private server that's taken on a life of its own with an active dev team and content updates, so let's see how it's getting on in 2022. This is my character from the last time I played the game. New character, two factions, the Realm of Order or the Realm of Destruction. So you've got Dwarves, Empire or High Elves, Dark Elves, Chaos or Greenskins. What do we want to be? What can a Greenskin play as? Chopper, Squig Herder, Black Orc and the Shaman. Kind of looking for like ranged magic DPS, so none of those really suit what I'm looking for. How about Dark Elves? Witch Elf, Sorceress, Blackguard, Disciple of Kaini. Guarantee I've butchered that pronunciation. The class system of this game is pretty interesting. Each race has its own unique class, each of which covers tank, melee DPS, ranged DPS, or healer. As a dwarf, I've got Rune Priest for healer, Iron Breaker as a tank, Slayer, melee DPS, engine. Engineer as ranged DPS. Every race can fulfill each role. As I'm looking for a bit more of a traditional ranged DPS mage style character, it looks like I'm gonna be a dark elf sorceress. Characteristic of witch elves and sorceresses, they're not wearing a whole lot. Can you subscribe to my OnlyFans? Let's play male sorcerer. Can we make a handsome elf? Usually that's pretty difficult in MMOs. He just looks like someone that's gonna put a knife in his father's back. I need to play as a character I can trust. Let's see if we can make a beautiful and average lady. Let's lower our expectations a bit. Yeah, it's kind of elven, isn't it? Elves are typically blonde. You're not a real elf if you're not blonde. When I look at her face, she looks like a Karanda. A bit of an elven name, isn't it? Karanda. I've met many Karandas in my life and they're all elves. Let's go. Some changes since your last login. Oh, that's nice. City Siege. Okay. It seems like there's been a lot of changes. I love these types of MMO opening sequences where you've got the kind of old style narrator with the panning shot that goes over the zone and gives you a little bit of story. It gives me like World of Warcraft starting zone vibes. I love that. And we're in the game. Here she is. Karanda the Sorceress. 
straight away another player it's a good sign instantly got three quests to accept which isn't typical for an mmo typically you'll start off with just one at a time warhammer online lets you jump right into it though run animation looks all right doesn't it not too bad wow what is that some kind of giant evil looking fortress oh okay straight away we're jumping into a vehicle right in our head wrecked there's a giant bolt thrower pointing right at you instead of hiding behind the rock she stands right on top of it donkey right off the bat the ui in this game isn't actually too bad it's not too busy it actually looks kind of clean this game chooses to have the xp bar at the top rather than the bottom which is typically the most common in mmos oh another new player another sorceress has joined the realm and in the quest rank two got myself some new shoes follow the path for the next quest hand in nice to meet you namora the hag imagine raising a daughter and she grows up to be known as something the hag you'd feel as though you failed as a parent wouldn't you lots of tall elven structures littering the landscape we have summoned the horse and what a noble horse it is not really he hasn't even got a tail that's a scuffed horse isn't it immediately upon starting the game i've got 11 quests on the go at once nice oh i see so I'm as a sorceress, I've got this resource called Dark Magic, and when I build up a certain amount of it, it increases my crit chance. Can I jump off here, or will there be an invisible barrier? Nope! Oh god, are we gonna die? Yes. Looking at the LFG chat in the bottom left, there are people looking for groups, so that's always a good sign that people are playing the game. Now we've got to kill some lions. Oh god, we've pulled two. Uh, oh, we're being CC'd by them. Yo, these things hit hard, run. Dude, li lions don't mess about. That's a pleasant surprise. I like MMOs where there's actually a possibility of dying. I can respect that. Let's go back for revenge on these bloody lions. I'm level five now. These are level three easy mobs. I can take on two at once. Sure. Surely. What is that par thing? <laughs> I say surely. I'm already at half health. No. What's it doing? Oh, two H. Again. These level three lions have to be overtuned or something. What's going on? I'm getting mangled. Looks like we're pulling these things one at a time. Old school. It does this stun that CCs you, then it just goes hard on you. So you've got two lions attacking you. The reason that they kill you is because you just kind of chain CC'd by a mob, which is crazy. Okay, that's some weird part thing. <laughs> You do kind of expect things like that from a private service, to be fair. We're looking a little bit bare, aren't we? We're not very equipped. Ooh, staircase going down. Yes, this might be a little hidden open world dungeon. And yes, there's another player here. Hello, Morgath. We've got a friend to help us adventure. Looks like a rogue. Let's group up. Invite. This is an MMORPG after all. Declined your invitation? What do you mean declined? This underground dungeon's bloody huge. Right, let's just sprint out of here. You can't catch me. I'm fast as fuck. This is a public quest. Kill 30 soldiers. Level 6. All of these green items that keep dropping, it's for every class except mine. Getting a little bit unlucky. Okay, so I did stage 1 of the public quest. And now slightly harder mobs have spawned. Now I've got myself some gloves. We're slowly but surely getting dressed public quest scoreboard what do we get we got the highest roll you want a greater loot bag where is it open the chest to receive your reward this chest mate i need to run all the way back okay let's run to this chest i guess Will we get anything good? That's actually really good loot. Massive upgrade and shoulder pads. It always feels good to get your first shoulder pads. Looking good. So those public quests seem well worth doing. I've just realized this, but you wanna know something refreshing about this game? Look at the UI. What don't you see? A cash shop. There just isn't one. It's just stuff related to the game. If only we could go back to such a time. Oh no, fuck off, unicorn. Mate, no one wants to fight you. You've got a fucking dildo on your head. Level seven? Purple robe, level five. Yeah, we've got to go for the purple, surely. That's got to be a massive upgrade. It's literally just a recolor, though. <laughs> oh, piss off, fucking unicorn. Scare the crap out of me. I thought unicorns were majestic, peaceful creatures. Not in this game. Oh, I need to put heads on a pike. Brutal. 
This game wasn't kidding. These really are dark elves. This is probably like the fifth or sixth quest during this starting experience where I'm reading the quest and it just seems really confusing. I don't know if the quest is poorly written or if it's poorly explained, but even after reading the quest text, sometimes it just doesn't make sense. Now you got this on the map. It tells me I'm looking for a large ancient pillar in this area somewhere. Large and well guarded. Well, what was this? Looks like a, an ancient pillar. Large and well guarded. What else is large and well guarded? Is this it? Really? That, okay, so that's the objective, is it? I need to click on that bit of rock. It looks pretty much the same as all the other rocks. I don't, I, based on what I've experienced with the questing in this game so far, if we ignore the fact that we are on a double XP server, I think if I'd have played this game back in the day, the quest design would definitely make my cons list because it just hasn't been good. The questing has been kind of miserable. Don't get me wrong, the public quests are really good. I do like those quite a lot. But the normal quests, compared to other the MMOs at the time. I just think they're not good. Level nine. I'm about two and a half hours in at this point and I'm level nine and I'm on a double XP server. Back in the day, leveling must have taken quite some time. Heading into some kind of gorge. You are now flagged for RVR. Cool. Wait, that's just scaled me to level 17. The last time I played this game, I think I remember that you could level up purely from doing PvP, which is pretty cool. Oh, there's a few players. I'm surprised because we're in a low level PvP zone. There's four of us right here. So capping the flag in three, two, one. Renown four. Right, I see see. So once you've leveled up your Renown, you can then buy better gear, which makes sense. A little bit more powerful now. No, I got a new robe and I was hoping it was different from my starting robe, but it's not. It's still another recolor. I haven't had a single new robe since I started the game. Feels bad, man. Let's see if I can get access to a max level account and jump into some end game realm versus realm where there's actually players and it's a bit more competitive because realistically, most people playing this game are at max level. So I've gained temporary access to a high level account to check out some of the end game and look at some of these characters. This is a marauder. Looks bloody badass. Squig herder. If you go anywhere near this guy, you're just gonna cut yourself. And disciple of Kani, which looks like a healer. A healer that uses a sword. Very cool. Always appreciate games where the end game characters actually look cool. Let's start with the squig herder. What's this? Red battle wolf. Wow, this is my mount, is it? Really suits the race that I'm playing. Oh, what? I pressed squig armor and it's turned me into a demon. What? Okay, let's join a scenario lobby. Oh, okay. We're straight into the action. Yeah, this is, this is PvP scenario. I was queued for like almost no time. We were instantly into a battle. Big damage. Dude, we're all just attacking this one person. I think they're a healer, but they just seem unkillable. I'm actually almost dead. Let's turn into a squig. I got a bunch of squig abilities. No one's dying. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, it's actually player collision. Kind of surprised that's a thing for some reason. Player collision's typically not a thing in tab targeting MMOs. Squig herder seems like a pretty cool class, though. Most of the abilities are castable on the move. No one's dying. This is the weirdest PvP I've ever seen in my life. Oh. We, uh, we won. So we've joined a realm versus realm warband. Currently got a party of about 22. Apparently the guys are over here. Let's join some large scale siege weapons that I could jump into if I wanted. Just regrouped with the RVR Zerg. Guess we're going to wait here for a bit then head out. It's actually kind of crazy that I've found a full RVR group in a private server MMO, isn't it? And I'm not even playing at peak time at all. It's got to be like early morning EU time right now. And there's still people PvPing. Right, time to Zerg these motherfuckers down. Take them out. Big damage. Grab the flag. Head over here. Save me. Oh no, we're getting wrecked in the back line. Squig mode. Big damage. Execute. Nice. Played around on the squig herder for a bit. Let's try out something different. Next, let's try the marauder. This guy looks like he does big damage. Oh, this one has tentacles come out of his back. So I guess this is one of the capital cities. Seems pretty cool. Except for the fact that there's heaps of shit just lying around everywhere. This class has a lot of abilities and like stance switching. So this is probably going to be an absolute mess. I'm just going to press whatever's off cooldown, to be honest. Can we jump in the sea? Oh, we actually can. <laughs> Bounces me back on the ship. Wait, we lost already. That was quick. 
This class looks cool, but I kind of want to be a healer. Okay, spawned in on the healer class, and I have no idea where we are, but it looks cool. Giant eye tower thing. Random wormhole in the sky. Pretty cool environment. My character looks badass. So this is the mount that this race has. It's a bloody dinosaur. Reading the abilities of this healer is pretty cool. It's kind of like an AoE uh, aura style healer, where people in range get certain benefits based on your covenant. I think the map in this game is really terrible. Like, I'm in a city and I'm trying to find the flight path. And just looking at this, what's this really telling me? Not a whole lot. I can't even like zoom in. If I scroll, this is what I see. This time we've got a different scenario. I've joined midway. So this is like a pyramid battleground. I think I'm contributing. I'm not entirely sure. And we've won. That was really quick. Just exploring the world a little bit. This is quite a colourful, vibrant area. Do one more scenario. Go on then. Big heals. I think we're gonna stomp the enemy team pretty quickly here. This dwarf here, like no one's even bothering to attack them because no one can deal any damage. We won in like two minutes. GG's. Warhammer Online. I bet a lot of you guys didn't even know that this game was still a thing, but as you've seen in this video, yes. Indeed it is, and you can still pretty easily get groups for Battlegrounds and also Realm vs Realm. Please don't punt him. And someone punted him. On cue. On cue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my. I'm clicking as hard as I can. Five seconds. Oh my god. Burn you! Oh, no, 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 no. As for the pros and cons, they're basically the same as the last time I covered this game. It's a full free-to-play game with no cash shop, decent looking UI, unique classes, you're able to PvP straight away as well as level up via PvP. The game's set in the Warhammer universe which is perfect for an MMORPG. And to be honest, I'd love to see a new Warhammer MMO sometime in the future, as this one didn't really do the IP justice. Return of Reckoning is a very populated private server. The devs actually create new content for this game and keep it updated as if the game never got shut down. The public quests are well done, it's got nice fantasy music, and a solid mix of PvP and PvE content from instanced battlegrounds, realm vs realm and dungeons, all of which you're able to find groups for on this server. The randomised class gear drops annoyed me whilst questing, the graphics are a bit outdated nowadays, the combat isn't as good as other tab targeting MMOs, I think the in-game map sucks as you're not able to really zoom in. I don't like the damage numbers in this game, I think they look kinda underwhelming. And I thought that some of the normal PvE quests were poorly written and caused me unnecessary confusion. Overall, Return of Reckoning is a top tier private server that's actually managed to not just emulate Warhammer Online for the past 8 years, but also complete unfinished content from the official servers, add completely new content to the game that didn't previously exist, and maintain a passionate community of fans that keep the game alive. As for the game itself, I think it probably shut down too early, but I can see that the game needed a lot of work, and the gameplay is just straight up lacking compared to other tab MMOs in my opinion. If you're a big Warhammer fan though, you'll probably have a lot of fun checking out the Return of Reckoning private server. But that's it for this video, as always let me know your thoughts on Warhammer Online and Return of Reckoning in the comments below, and would you also like to see a new MMORPG utilise the Warhammer IP again in the future? Social media on screen, zerg that like button for the algorithm gods, and I'll see you in the next one.